Hello everyone and welcome to another combined nail polish haul. Today I'll be sharing swatches of three different brands. First, I'm starting with Bees Knees Lacquer. That is one of the indie brands that I have come to really love and I probably have the most Bees Knees out of my indie collection. These are my freshly unboxed most recent Bees Knees Lacquer hauls as well as I'll be showing you some LA Colors. LA Colors is a pretty well-known bargain brand that I have also really come to love. Not everybody loves their brushes and not everybody loves their formulas, but personally I do really like their formulas, their brushes, well, I can work with them, but they aren't necessarily preferred. However, I did pick up three that I was wanting as well as an unexpected beauty. LA Colors is a brand that I have quite a few from. It's definitely the mainstream or more well-known brand that I have the most of. And last but not least, I'll be sharing some Orly polishes. This is a brand that I've known about for a while. I only have a handful of their polishes, and honestly, I don't know why. They have amazing cream formulas, as well as some really funky glitter toppers and things, and they do have some fun finishes far and few between the rest of those. More traditional cream polishes and those kind of funky toppers. But for me, I just haven't grabbed too many of them, but I do have three more Orleys that I bought last December and I just haven't shared them yet. Two of them were polishes that were on my master wish list of polishes that I was wanting in my collection. So with that extremely long-winded intro, let me show you all the beautiful swatches of this accumulated polish haul. The first Bees Knees Lacquer polish I have here is a really glowy, juicy red polish. The shimmery glow on this one is absolutely stunning, super ethereal and glowy. This does have hollow flakes and this shimmery shift does go from that bright green into a deeper blue into like a purpley pink at extreme angles. This one is called the Crimson Moth from the Heartless Hunter collection. I did get this one opaque on the wheel in three coats. This next one is a super shimmery beauty as well. This is like a large particle shimmer polish and it is just in a clear base, I believe. This one is called Bewitched from the Once Upon a Broken Heart collection. This kind of goes from like a pink tone into a golden tone. In extreme angles, this does even hit a green and even a blue tone. So this one is definitely a really magical one. This one I did build up in four coats and I do feel like this one would make a beautiful topper as well. Really, really beautiful. I love these kinds of formulas with those large particle shimmers. So gorgeous. This next one is another one in that kind of shimmery, large particle type of formula and finish. Super beautiful. This has like a minty green bluish base and this one again has that similar shimmer but this has a little something else to it. I believe this one has some added hollow flakes to give that rainbow sparkle and to just break up that pigment a little bit. It really is so pretty. And this was another four coat formula. I really, really love these, super pretty. This one I believe is called Ethrals. I hope I'm saying that correctly. And this is from the Divine Rivals collection. Love the finish. This next polish is a type of polish that I have been hoping for for so long. I have been looking for a kind of polish, a regular nail polish, that mimics the look of a gel cat eye or velvet type of polish. I am not so great at the gel process as well as I am not super fond of gels and I may do a video on that in the future but I have been looking for polishes like this and Bees Knees made one that really caught my eye. I even ordered a special magnet to play with this one. I will be doing a video on that in the future, but this polish really got me excited. 
It lets me know that what I was looking for is definitely possible in the regular nail polish realm. Finally, somebody did it. Okay, let me finally show you this gorgeous polish. This is the last bee's knees I have here. This one is called Skyfire. This is from the Daughter of the Moon Goddess collection. You definitely could wear this polish on its own to get this really nice foiled look. But as a magnetic, you can kind of pull that line. This one I did do in three coats. I did two coats to get it opaque. And then I went in with the third coat to go ahead and magnetize. A really cool magnetic effect here. Kind of a silver striping. And that's just because of the magnet I have. But I am looking into other magnet types to get different effects. Super excited to play with this polish. But that is one of my favorite indie brands and that may kind of serve as a sample as to why. But now let's jump into the mainstream brands, starting with LA Colors. I recently published a short with this little polish hauled in there. So gorgeous. I did want to swatch it though. This is such a bright beauty. This one is called Hyperactive and this is on the edge of orange meets red meets pink. Just such a hot, vibrant one. So, so pretty. And I did get this one opaque in two coats so a beautiful formula on this one the next three are the color shifting toppers that i have been looking for for a while if you've been following this channel you may have seen me haul a couple of these in the past but where i was shopping there were only a couple available but i did find a few that i was looking for the one that i was the most on the hunt for was meteorite this one is a very shifty, colorful, sparkly, gorgeous type of topper. These are buildable, I have found, so I did go ahead and build this one up. This one definitely took the most coats out of the three that I'm showing here today. This one took five coats, but that is, again, building up a topper. It is absolutely stunning, and I feel like you would get a very similar effect over a similar toned cream as a base. And that color shift that you can kind of see going from blue to purple does go from blue to purple to pink to almost a gold in the utmost extreme angles. This next one is one that I was most curious about. This one is called Retrograde, and this is like a deep pine green, almost foiled looking type of shimmery polish. It's also one of those color shifting toppers, but this one has a really light shimmer in there that does go from like a green to a blue to a purple to a pink to like a gold. It's like very light and dainty though. It's not very strong like the last one. You can kind of see it in the light there, but it is very shy. This one, however, only did take three coats to build up as a topper, so we shall see how it toppers. Would you guys want to see a video of all of the LA Colors shifting toppers that I have as toppers? We can try them over a ton of colors. Let me know down in the comments if that is something that you are interested in. This one, again, took three coats. I'm kind of curious as how this is actually going to look as a topper though because it is kind of opaque. This next one is called Comet and this is a super shifty polish. This does have a pretty blue base and it goes from this pink magenta color into like a golden silver into a green. It's so pretty and this one is again one of those shifting toppers and this one I built up in four coats. I think it makes a beautiful polish on its own. Next up we'll move into the Orly polishes. This one I got for $2.62 on clearance at Meyer, and this one is one that was actually on my master wish list. It is just the perfect bright gorgeous minty shade. I love it. This one I did find to be perfectly opaque in two coats with a really beautiful cream formula. Love their brush, love their rubber grip handle. I just do really love the Orly formula and you know I really love that they have 18 mil bottles. That's a huge plus. Gorgeous, gorgeous cream formulas. Same with this next one. This one is called In the Groove. This one I got at TJ Maxx for $4. Also on clearance, a beautiful like bricky red. In the Groove had a really beautiful glossy formula as well. 
really buttery smooth and this one I almost felt like was pretty much opaque in one coat. I did go in for the second coat just for that true manicure feel but I feel like on shorter nails and things this definitely could be a one coat formula. And last but not least I got another one that I really really wanted and was on my master wish list. This one I did get at TJ Maxx. I don't know if I got it for $3.99 or if there was a clearance sticker that fell off. Again these Orly polishes I got back in December. I just haven't hauled them or used them yet. I am super excited to have this one though. The triangles are definitely something really fun and funky in my collection. And gotta love the name, Don't Be Square. I did place these glitters just so you could see how nicely they could be displayed, but they are definitely really cool and interesting. And of course, this is just a clear polish, so if you can see right through it and you can see my nail underneath, but it is a really pretty topper and I can't wait to try it. So glad to finally be sharing these with you guys. A lot of my hauls have honestly been sitting in my nail mail basket since like last year and they just keep accumulating. So I'm trying to stay on top of things, but this is a way that I can kind of show you more at once. I haven't done an accumulated haul like this for quite some time, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, consider leaving a like down below. And if you'd like more content like this, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I'd love to have you back. That about wraps it up for this one, and I hope to see you in the next one. And until next time, friends, thanks so much for hanging with me.